Close your eyes, focus on your breath. Know the breath as it's coming in, know the breath as it's going out, all the way in, all the way out. Try to keep your attention as consistently with the breath as you can. Don't let there be any gaps. If there are gaps, we'll just come right back. Stick with the breath as much as you can. Give this your full attention and do it with an attitude of respect. After all, you are training your mind as you do this. and The mind is the most important thing in life, so you want to show some respect for your desire for true happiness. Today we're commemorating the passing of Ajahn Suwat, who died eight years ago as of tomorrow. This year seems to be coming around every faster and faster every year. And of course that's because death comes closer and closer every year. And so when we, as we face death we want to look at the good things in life, what's really important in life that we can do now while we have the chance, while we have the opportunity. And also to think of the teachings of those who have gone before us, what teachings are really value. And one of the teachings that John Sawat stressed time and again was that when you practice you want to do it with respect. This is an important work that we're doing here. We're training the mind. We're following the teachings of people who have cleansed their minds of defilements, who had no greed, no anger, no delusion. They knew what they were doing. And it's very hard to find a teaching like that in the world. So here we are, human beings. We've found this teaching, so we should take advantage of it. Because after all, what shapes our lives? Our lives are shaped by our intentions. Our intentions to act, to speak, to think. Those intentions, of course, are shaped by the qualities in the mind. And so you want to look to these qualities, make sure that you develop them in the right direction. And do this with a sense of respect, because after all, this is the big opportunity to shape your life in the way you want it. As a human being who's learned the Dharma, you've got this opportunity. You've got a human body. You've got a human mind. You can think. You can analyze. You can understand things. You've got a human mouth. You can say things that make sense. And so you want to have respect for that fact. You've got these hands. They can do a lot of things that animal hands can't do. So what are you going to do with your hands? What good things are you going to shape with your hands? With your mouth. You've got a human mouth that can convey all kinds of meanings. So what kind of meanings are you going to convey? You want to do all of this with an attitude of respect. Because when John Swat said to practice with an attitude of respect, he wasn't just talking about the meditation. He was talking about everything you do. Here's your opportunity to do it well, and not just in a stopgap or a temporary manner. If you're going to do something good, you want to make it really good and solid. And so it starts with a mind. You want to make sure that your intentions are solid. Your intention to do what's skillful stays solid and doesn't get pushed aside by other intentions. And you want to develop your mindfulness and alertness to make sure they're solid so they keep watch over what you're doing. Because without mindfulness, you forget about your good intentions. Without alertness, you don't really know what you're doing. And without those two qualities of mind, there's no way that you can develop anything really good and solid in this life. So you want to do this with an attitude of respect. Each time the mind wanders off, you have to say, nope, no, we've got something more important to do here. We're not just fooling around. Because the principle of heedfulness, and this is these were the Buddha's last words, was to he said, achieve consummation with heedfulness. Consummation means developing the qualities of the mind to the fullest extent. But you have to do it through heedfulness, because that's what keeps reminding you. If you don't do it now, it's not going to get done. And if you're going to do it, you might as well do it well. Because what you, you want good results, so you have to make sure that you put a lot of goodness into your intentions, into your the causes for those results. So in this year, this yearly event where we show our respect for John Sawat, to really show respect for John Sawat, we follow his teachings, i.e. show respect for what you do and say and think. Show respect for what you're going to leave behind in the world, because that's what you're going to keep coming back to. So as long as you're speaking, speak well. When you're acting, act well. When you think, think well. When you meditate, meditate well. Do this all with an attitude of respect. In keeping with the opportunity that's been open for you. 